Hi, I'm Orni. Hi, I'm Gukar. And we welcome you to the second show of the Football Studio, brought to you by Bangalink in partnership with Plantic, Magneto Digital, Melanades and Brazil Churrasco. And for, for our guest for the second show, uh, we welcome Rene Custer, the Bangladesh national team youth coach and also the assistant manager next to Ludwig, Coach Ludwig Dick Uh Rene, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for making time for us. Uh, the first question I'm going to ask is, uh, this is the first time ever in World Cup that the finalists from the last one are facing and facing each other in the group stages. So, and all cards on the table, no one's judging you, no one's going to think you're biased here. How bad do you want a revenge? How badly? Yeah, really bad. Uh, when we see the, the videos from four years ago, it's, it's really painful, eh? because uh, when Ruben uh, against Casillas is making the goal, we are the world champion. So, uh, yeah, it's really painful. And uh, But uh, it's a new tournament, so a new start. Uh, I think Spain is almost the same players. Uh, Holland, only four players are left in the, in, the, in the lineup. So it's a totally different match, I think. So when you say that it was really painful when you watched the replays from last game, I think the Spaniards would say the same. Especially after what Nigel de Jong did to Xabi Alonso with the Kung Fu kick on his chest. Maybe, that was painful, man. Maybe, maybe physically, but uh, mentally uh, for us it's, it's more painful, I think. Uh, but on that note, I want to ask you, I mean, the Dutch have always we've seen them playing exceptional football, attacking football. You know, they've, uh, they've actually always been known for this. But over the last few years, they've moved away from the style and the Spaniards have taken it over. Do you feel jealous at all that the Spanish are now regarded as the playing beautiful football and winning? No, because uh, Holland, when they did the qualification games, they, uh, they played the Dutch style. They play 1-4-3-3, attacking football, uh, playing to win. Mm -hmm. Only now uh, we have some injuries and, uh, and we played the first match against Spain. So Rui van Gaal uh, is playing a little bit more defensively. He's playing with five defenders, yeah. three midfielders and two attackers. Yeah. So uh, that's only the plan I heard in the media uh, mm -hmm. for the game against Spain, maybe against Chile. But uh, yeah, against weaker teams, we will play 4 3 3 again, I think. Uh, another one is uh, Louis van Hall is set to take over Manchester United after this tournament's over. Do you think that responsibility is gonna, going to stay in the back of his head and he's going to maybe not uh, orchestrate as well as he's supposed to? No, no, no. Uh, Louis van Gaal is, is a really uh, professional. He's, he's a great coach and. Uh, also and a crazy I'm, coach. Sorry? Also a crazy coach. Kind of mental. Heard. No, no, he's the best, one of the best coaches in the world. He won, he won all the trophies, he's working at a very big club, so uh, he's focusing with his staff on, uh, on the Dutch team, so uh, I think that's not the issue. Oh, you're just saying that because you work for him for a year, and in case he watches this, you know, you, you don't want your job back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to work with Man United, but no, uh, he's really professional, so uh, he can do that, it's not a problem. So who do you think is going to win this encounter? You want revenge, the Spaniards want to show that they're superior. Who do you think is going to win? No, I think Holland is, uh, is happy when they uh, tie in the first game, 1-1 uh, mm -hmm. one, one or 0-0. Zero, zero, and then the second game against uh, Chile and the third game against Australia, we have to win. So uh. One of the scariest factor of this group, Group B, is that if you finish second, you could easily be facing Brazil in the next yeah. round and go out. Yeah. So do you think, in case, if you finish second here, do you think you can take on Brazil in the knockout? Yeah, always. It's football. They start 0-0, uh, zero, zero, but of course, Brazil is the uh, home fans and, uh, and they're the top favorite of, uh, of the World Cup. And they won the Confederation Cup last year, so uh, they are really good. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not be easy, but the first focus from the Dutch team is uh, be number one or number two, and let's see what will happen, because everybody is saying Brazil will be number one in the pool. But maybe the crowd, the pressure is high for the players. Maybe. Uh, there will be some surprises, especially uh, against Croatia and, and Cameroon. It's, it's not an easy uh, group for them too. What do you think the outcome of this match will be? And we're going to look at the screen here and see what, you, what your reactions are. Netherlands. <laughs> Sunno, Sorbut Chagul, Ervisi Javan. Tara Sharbon in the Buta Dita Barek, where Jobeshi Dile, Ami Happy. Hey, Team Tikasata from Sugum. Karnami, Netherlands support for his Swami Ashakuri, at least Duta Dibe. for this game. Apart from the fact that Spain and Netherlands met last time in the World Cup final, these two sides also met in 2000 during Louis van Gaal's last stint as the Netherlands coach when he beat Spain 2-1. A repeat of that result would make a lot of Dutchmen happy. 
For Spain, uh, for Spain, the win will depend a lot on their central defensive partnership of Sergio Ramos and Gerard Pique with Pique Kessias in goal. An interesting fact is that Gerard Pique has an IQ of 140, and he's actually a poker champion as well, and he won $50,000 playing in a recent tournament. He should have taken my call to one. <laughs> so for our audiences at home, we all, of course will have a quiz at the end of every show. This time, I'm going to ask you who won the golden ball for the 1990 World Cup. Okay, you can... Uh, Were you even born then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, hey, I have, you know, I can watch documentaries. So was it A, Salvatore Schilacci, B, Marco Van Basten, C, Diego Maradona, or D, uh, Lachlan Masten? You can uh, post the correct answer below, right below this video, mm -hmm. and Bangalik will have exclusive prizes for you if you are the lucky one with the correct answer. Um, one last question, and I know the uh, the viewers at home is, uh, would have want to know this. You're the national team uh, assistant coach, and also you you're a Dutchman. But on club level, who do you support? On club level? Yeah, on club football, who do you support? Uh, Barcelona. Yeah, because that is very hard to play football. That's the easy no, answer. No, no, no. It's because of you on prizes, and it's definitely because of you on prizes. So biased. So biased. Yeah, okay, sure. thanks a lot, Rene, for agreeing to be on the show, and hopefully your prediction of a draw comes a true. Draw. I hope I hope they will win maybe uh, one sneaky counter. Sneaky <laughs> counter. <laughs>